In this video, I'm going to talk about what it costs to buy a home or condo in Ontario. But before I do that, do me a favor. If this video resonates with you, make sure to share it with a friend, colleague, or family member. So when you're buying a home or a condo in Ontario, you need to be aware of the upfront costs. You have a purchase price, for example, of a million dollars. You've got to be aware of the down payment. The difference towards the purchase price is going to come from a mortgage. So let's say you got qualified for a mortgage of $800,000. You got to make sure that you have the $200,000 in your savings 90 days before the closing date. That $200,000, you also need to be aware that when you actually sign the agreement of purchase and sale within 24 hours, you would have have given a deposit. Generally speaking, it's about 10% of the purchase price. So if we take that $1 million purchase price, you're going to be looking at a 10% deposit, which is $100,000. And then at closing, you're going to be paying the remainder $100,000, which went towards that $200,000 down payment. But now it's not over yet. You need to know the other closing costs. So you have lawyers fees and disbursements. So make sure you don't just Google what are lawyers fees because what you won't be told is the actual disbursements. Every time a lawyer faxes something, and yes, they still fax stuff. They send a courier, title insurance, that all adds up into what's known as the full lawyer's cost at closing, which is gonna be approximately $2,000. You also need to be aware of the land transfer tax. And in Ontario, we call it welcome to Ontario. Now, if you're buying in Toronto, you're gonna to get taxed twice, especially if you're not a first time home buyer. And that all totals in and around 3% of the purchase price. Over and above that, you need to be aware of other closing adjustments. So if the seller of the home or condo that you purchased this property from has already prepaid the taxes for the year, and let's just say you're closing in the middle of the year, so June 1st, you have to actually rebate the seller the remainder of the property tax. If you're buying a condo, you might be closing in the middle of the month. You now need to pay back the seller of that condo the rest of the month's maintenance fees because they would have paid the condo fees at the start of the month. What I would advise you to do with whatever purchase price that you're buying this home or condo, make sure to have approximately a total of 5% of the purchase price set aside for closing because that also includes your moving costs. Now, some might just uh, invite the friends and the boys over for some pizza and beer and they're gonna help you move but you might be hiring an actual moving company so all in all make sure to save about 5% of the purchase price for closing costs and closing adjustments it won't come in and uh, in that high but at least you've saved and there's no surprises I hope this video resonated with you and again do me a favor share it with a friend colleague or family member you made it this far and I appreciate it Thank you. I want to make sure that you get more value from my page. Click on the next video and share it with a friend and leave me a comment. All your feedback is greatly appreciated.